Time capsules, which typically contain items such as newspapers, public records and works of art, are intended to help future generations understand the lives of those who created them. Nobody knows when the practice began, but the earliest known time capsules appear to date to the 19th century. But the 10-pound metal box opened in Boston in 2015 actually predates that period. In fact, the capsule is the oldest ever found in the United States. Known as the Samuel Adams and Paul Revere time capsule, it's thought to have been buried in 1795, 20 years after the start of the American War of Independence and eight years before Britain formally recognized U.S. sovereignty. In a civic ceremony commemorating the revolution's 20th anniversary, the capsule, which then consisted of a simple leather pouch, was buried under a cornerstone of the Massachusetts State House in Boston's Beacon Hill neighborhood. The iconic structure was completed three years later and is today a designated National Historic Landmark, instantly recognizable thanks to its gold-colored dome. Sixty years later, in 1855, workmen inadvertently retrieved the pouch and passed it on to city authorities. The items inside were removed, cleansed and deposited in a much sturdier brass alloy box, along with several new objects. The capsule was then ceremonially reburied with Governor Winslow Harley and two representatives from a Masonic Lodge. The capsule remained buried and forgotten until December 11, 2014, when workers repairing water pipes accidentally stumbled upon it. Removing the capsule was a delicate operation which lasted seven hours. And as Boston Museum of Fine Arts conservator Pam Hatchfield chiseled it free, she saw that coins had been placed on top of it, probably as a good luck gesture. Hatchfield subsequently opened the box and painstakingly went through its contents at a prestigious event in the museum's American Gallery. Her tools for this delicate task included a porcupine quill and a dental instrument which had belonged to her grandfather. The operation was conducted in absolute silence and punctuated by occasional sighs of relief, hushed exclamations of wonder and the snapping of journalist cameras. Among the first items to be removed were a collection of coins from the mid-19th century and five newspapers, including the Boston Daily Traveler and the Boston Bee. The newspapers were left folded, however, as it was unclear if opening the pages would damage them. The coins, which included several different denominations, were in a range of conditions. A collection of much older coins from the 1780s were subsequently discovered, with one pine tree shilling dating to 1652. The coin was minted illegally during the interregnum that followed the reign of King Charles I. This period of English history was marked by deep political instability. It began in 1649 with the execution of King Charles I and ended in 1660 with the restoration of royal power. For that brief period, England actually had been a republic. Other items included the imprint of the seal of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the official state emblem assumed by the legislature in 1775, and a copy of colonial records dating to the 17th century. A copper medal of George Washington was also recovered, proclaiming him President of the United States and General of the American Armies. But the most impressive item was an intricately engraved silver plate bearing the names of the capsule's creators, Samuel Adams, Paul Revere, and William Scully. It's likely that the plate was engraved by Paul Revere himself as he was an accomplished silversmith. If so, the plate is extremely valuable and not just in a monetary sense. This is the stuff that leads us to Sam Adams, to Paul Revere. Michael Camo, executive director of the Massachusetts Archive and Commonwealth Museum, told The Guardian in January 2015. It helps us to better understand not only what happened before us, but also helps us to better understand ourselves, because it's this power of memory, of shared memory and heritage. Born in Boston and educated at Harvard, Samuel Adams was one of the founding fathers of the United States. An influential philosopher and political revolutionary, Adams was instrumental in engineering American republicanism. He contributed to the Declaration of Independence and the Massachusetts Constitution, among other vital legislative frameworks. While he's generally regarded as a national hero, Adams has also been criticized as a propagandist and an instigator of populist violence. In fact, separating historical fact from popular myth is a complex scholarly process that rarely results in universal agreement. But whatever the truth, it's indisputable that Adams contributed greatly to the establishment of sovereignty of the United States.
Meanwhile, Boston-born Paul Revere was a silversmith and an industrialist best known for his role as a militia officer in the American Revolution. He contributed to the development of intelligence systems that alerted insurgents to British military activities, and he's most remembered for his so-called midnight ride. This occurred during the evening of April 18, 1775, after Revere received word that British troops were heading to Lexington and Concord with the intention of arresting Adams and other insurgent leaders. Revere rode through the night to alert the rebel militias, who then organized and successfully fought off the British. His feat was later immortalized in a poem by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. The third creator of the time capsule, William Scale, is less known than Adams or Revere. With ancestral roots in the remote Orkney Islands of Scotland, Scale was a Boston-born real estate developer and a deputy grand master in the Masonic Lodge of Massachusetts. Revere was also a deputy, while Adams was a grand master. His contribution to the revolution, including serving as a colonel in the Boston militia. This is more than simply looking at some historical artifacts, trinkets, or curiosities, commented William Galvin, Massachusetts Secretary of the Commonwealth, to The Guardian. These symbols, when they were placed in the state in 1795, represented the aspirations of the Founding Fathers and those who came after. The history of Massachusetts is the history of America. If you'd like to explore this history for yourself, the items are currently on display in the Boston Museum of Fine Arts underneath The Passage of Delaware, a dramatic 1819 painting by Thomas Sully. At some stage, the items will be placed inside a new time capsule and reburied in their original place. Will the city add extra items before it's reburied? The governor has wisely suggested that we might, Galvin told CNN, so we'll think about it. Indeed, in 2015, another Boston time capsule dating to 1901 was returned to its place with the addition of several letters and an iPhone 5, just one symbol of the technological interconnectedness of early 21st century society. What will future generations make of it?